Hello everyone, this is the Big Man 0706 saying welcome to uh, my true let's play, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Yes, that means I had to cancel my Donkey Kong Country LP. That's what makes my third LP in the game. Let's read the story first. Here's a world of Dreamland is a great danger. In Dreamland, dreams always flow from the wonderful fountain of dreams. The fountain of dreams collected the hopes and dreams of all living things. It was also responsible for the sweet dreams and rest that come from deep sleep. But one day, one in Dreamland lost the ability to dream. Team DDD was bathing in the fountain of dreams. Ugh, that's gonna leave a nasty smell. He had even the human star rod, the source of the fountain's power, broken in pieces that he gave to his underlings. Now Kirby must embark on an adventure to restore peaceful nap time to all residents of Dreamland. And thus begins Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Now one thing, I have to thank someone for uh, finding the file for this. Uh, I forgot his name, but uh, after it's uploaded, the video is uploaded and processed, I might put the name of the person who gave me the link to the ROM in the annotations. Now one thing I have to say about uh, Kirby Nightmare Dreamland, and that's this. It's a remake of uh, Kirby's Adventure for the Super Nintendo, not Super Nintendo, the Nintendo Entertainment System. No, it's be, mm. And one of the first... Okay, I started and I already lost my copy ability. Yeah, that's one flaw with playing with a keyboard. Bullshit, I hit him first. Uh, you know what, screw it. I don't need to power up because there's a there's a hidden one coming up soon, right here. Here it is, the UFO ability. If you can find it very later in the game, but if you want it right now, you can find it in that area, that waterfall, the first block. But don't just fall through. I did that lab the first time I tried to find it, and I lost life. Anyway. Let's push the start button. Wow, I'm so lucky to copy a UFO. I can do four different moves. It all depends on how long you hold B. Just push B1, so it'll just do a beam. Hold it for a little bit. It'll fire a laser. Hold it. It'll have a powerful bolt. And if you hold it all the way, a big boost. So now let's just fly over the level. Kill that freaking Poppy Jr. Oh, fuck, I almost got hit by a Bruno Burt. Bronto Burt, I mean. So far, three minutes in, and uh, nothing else happened. Now, one thing about the mini games, I'm gonna do them later in the project, but probably before the last boss. But one thing, those are Gordo. That flying thing with the spikes is a Gordo. And this cannon here is a shot, so it'll always follow you. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, don't know, don't ask why I got rid of it, but I always hate the freaking, uh, freaking, uh, beam ability. It's unpredictable. Well, so I'd rather use the color or the sword or the UFO, but, but the one problem with the UFO, and that's this, you can't take it with you. Remember the one person who was doing a playthrough of this, cheated by floating around This is Poppy Rose Se Let's spit that out because you might think he will just have a bomb, but this is and Poppy Rose Senior will have a crash ability. Crash ability is one of the abilities that can destroy all the enemies on the screen. Sorry if I'm not talking so much. I don't have any interesting commentary, except I've been playing a lot of Team Fortress 2 a lot. And I have a lot of those replay videos up on my YouTube channel. Well, not a lot of people are watching them, so let's, try. let's just shut the fuck up about that right now and find a way to... S oh, I forgot. I didn't know there was something here. Crap, I almost fell to my death. 
I can't tell if it was a pit of death. But here's my favorite ability. Sword ability. It seems like everybody loves the sword ability in the game. I can never get to the one-ups. Even though I've never played this game before, I'm not going to title this as a blind let's play because Nightmare Dreamland is just basically a sequel to... I almost got shot by that shot, so... Anyway, as I was saying, it's a remake of of uh, Night of uh, Kirby's Adventure. You, you know what? Fuck it. Don't expect me to keep a single power up for through the entire level. I will lose it since it's hard to play on a fucking keyboard. Lord, and I do not want to get a controller thing because, well, I want to keep my web camera. Hold on, come here, you little prick. There's a different fire ability. This is burning. The last ability, ha the last ability I was going to try to get was the regular fire. The difference between fire and burning is... F fire, you could just spew fire out of your mouth. Burning... Shit, that was close. Burning, you dash through. Fuck. See, I can never keep a power up. Ah, oh, bullshit! He hit me before as I just exit. That was bullshit. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. You know what? Screw it, I'm gonna cheat. Thank god these freaking things don't jump. Well, one thing though, if you eat a food and an enemy with a cop ability, don't expect to the swallow the enemy too. I won't do it like that, and that was really piss poor. Sorry, I was paying, paying attention to my timer. And here we have here, I'm gonna go in here, the Kirby Museum. View cop abilities for free. And a better ability besides fire. No offense, but fire is a good ability. I just don't see it as a good combat tool. Then we head to the forest area. This is Flosty the Walrus. And he was a piece of cake to kill with a sword. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm singing again. This is Needle Ability. Basically, if push the B the button you use to uh, copy the ability, not the select button though, I mean, the B button to use a bunch of spikes, remember the same person who gave me this ROM, use it to defeat the first boss of the game, okay, but I found a better and more, a better way to do it, better as in less cheap way, anyway, the thing I just ate was a special, was a hyper lollipop, basically it'll let me turn it invincible, yeah! I'm never gonna get that one up in this area. And I'm gonna do this world by world. I'm gonna do this LP world by world. Let me just go back to the museum. Get the sword ability for... Okay. Let's go back in there. I did not... What the crap? I did not mean to... Get that needle ability again. Anyway, it's off the first boss. Wispy Woods. This guy has always been the easiest freaking boss. I'm a lumberjack, I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. He's a lumberjack. Sorry, I was singing I'm a lumberjack by the Monty Python crew. And I beat the first world in the first video. I'm not going to do it like I did the Geezer Adventure and uh, do one level per world. And, ouch! Dick. What the hell? Sorry. Here we are in the next world. You know what? I'm going to do a few more levels before... Uh, what the crap? I'm going to do a few more levels before... Shh. What lag is acting? 
I did not get hurt during the boss fight. I hope I don't have any problem. I think after this level, I'm gonna fuck that guy up. No, no, after this level, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna stop recording. Whoa. What the fuck? That was fucking strange. Sorry if I'm talking a lot. I just don't want that weird thing going on. And that's a bomb in me. Stay the fuck away from him if he falls. Otherwise, you'll get hurt a lot by this prick. Whatever his name is. And here's another good ability. Tornado! Basically, if you keep pushing the button, you'll... You'll go higher and higher. Almost lost the ability. I do not want to lose this ability. It's a great ability. And I finished the first level of World 2. And I'm going to continue the video later. So until next time, this is the Big Man of 706, and I did not mean to push the speed up button. And uh, soon next time as I go to level 2 of Ice Cream Island. So until then, see ya.